Jared Poland from Nosephoto.com, and this is These your our spirit fingers. Photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Squarespace. If you've been waiting to build your own photography website, I don't know what you're waiting for. I personally use Squarespace to build out jaredpolen.com and I wouldn't use anything else because I don't know coding, but Squarespace makes it easy, affordable, and guess what? I put up a new gallery in under three minutes the other day, so go check it out. To get a 14-day free trial, head on over to squarespace.com slash photo, and if you decide that it's for you, use the code photo at checkout to get 10% off your first order. First up, we finally have some Pentex news for the one guy who says we need more Pentex reviews and the two other people who seem to care. Sigma has announced they will stop producing all K-mount lenses due to the dwindling number of Pentex users. What? I didn't say it was good news, but at least we have Pentex news for once, right? Right? Sigma says they will be shifting their focus towards developing lenses for mirrorless bodies. Now that makes sense since they are a part of the Pen Pen Pentex, Pentex Alliance, which doesn't ring out as well as the Mount Alliance. Don't cry just yet, Pentex users, there's some good news. The good news is, if you'd like to waste more money on a dying system, Sigma has discounted all remaining K-mount lenses until they are sold out. And when they're gone, they're gone. Forever. Hey Dan, do you think I offended any Pentex users? Yes. <laughs> is Sony the first major camera brand to drop out of Photo Plus? What about Pentax? Dan, I said major camera brands. For those who don't know, Photo Plus used to be one of the largest photo shows in the United States. Every October, the photo world would descend on the Javits Center in New York City to show off their latest gear and meet thousands of photographers. And me, you got to meet me. Well, over the past few years, the show has gotten smaller and smaller, and this year, they even canceled all of the seminars. So is Sony skipping out on the show this year? Well, if we look closely at the Expo map, it would seem so. Do you see anything on there that says Sony? I see Canon, I see Nikon, I see Fuji and Tamron. What about Pentax? I, I, I don't see Pentax, Dan. But I also don't see a massive Sony booth with a ton of orange carpet. I'm not even here. Petapixel did get a quote from a Sony spokesman that says they will be going to the expo and that the Photo Plus team has just been delayed in adding Sony to the site. One, I call bullshit on that delay. It's not that hard to update your website. Maybe they're not using Squarespace. I'm gonna put this out there. Sony will not have a booth this year at the show. Why do I say that? The map. The map's certainly not changing a month out. Nikon and Canon aren't gonna chop off a piece of their booth and say, here, Sony, have a piece of our booth. Sharon makes Elmer so happy. It's just not gonna happen. Let's be honest here. I've been saying for the past few years that the major brands should drop out of PPE and everyone else would follow. The show is a massive waste of money and time for the company. Companies. A big booth could set you back a million plus dollars when you account for employees' hours and hotels. There's better ways to spend that money, like giving it to us to make some cool shit. So you know what I have to say to that? Goodbye, PPE. It's all over. Dan, do you like the Brexit version UK shirt that's not available actually in the UK because G-Star Raw sued me? And finally, we close with another rumor that Canon will be releasing a high megapixel EOS R camera in early 2020. 24 hours after Canon News unearthed the patent for an 83 megapixel sensor, Canon rumors received a spec list from someone who claims to have a prototype of what they are calling the EOS RS. According to this source, the body will be slightly larger than the EOS. R, house an 80 plus megapixel full frame sensor, implement a new joystick, which hopefully means they got rid of that stupid touch bar, have a larger LCD, which I don't really see happening because 3.2 inches isn't much bigger. That's what she said. Have a larger viewfinder, which I guess is possible, and have dual SD card slots. That's so many slots who won't know where to begin. But will it have IBIS as well? A recently unearthed patent filing from Canon shows an exploded view of the design. And based on my extreme Extreme knowledge of all things engineering.
engineering, it looks like it's gonna be amazing. Don't you think? You can tell from this patent. Like I've been saying for the past six months, Canon's the sleeper of the bunch. Now it's possible they will unleash three Pro R cameras in rapid fire succession in 2020 and 2021 and start their push for mirrorless dominance. Or I could be completely wrong and they will do nothing. What do you think? And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.